friends welcome back to another video it's the weekly energy for september 12th through the 18th how was your full moon weekend mine was pretty good i definitely it was intense i did some fun things we did a live stream on instagram uh, where i did some mercury retrograde readings that was super fun and yeah just uh, spent the rest of the weekend taking care of myself staying home it was rainy in chicago which i love when the weather cooperates with the kind of energy of self-reflection that was with us. And I felt like something was finally released. And there wasn't, for me, there wasn't like a big eureka moment. But rather, I felt it in my body. I felt some tension release in my body. I've been working it out, rolling on the floor a bunch. And, um, you know, making this video on Tuesday. Sorry for the delay. I don't, I try not to force things that don't feel like they shouldn't be happening on certain days. So it's Tuesday instead of Monday. This is when you're getting your video and the moon is currently in Taurus. So that means we get a lot of our emotional stability from being in our body and processing things, feeling grounded. It's also the, the, the moon right after the full moon is the disseminating moon. It's take your time to breathe out. All right, let's get into the cards. We got the full moon in Leo, first quarter moon, and the gibbous moon. The first quarter moon describes the next cycle of moon that we're reaching toward, right? So um, it's halfway into the new moon. And I've done some readings already on this about what it, this cycle is about into the new moon in Libra at the end of the month is about partnership and more specifically how we show up for others authentically. With the full moon in Leo here, I feel like that there's a sense of regaining your personal power. First quarter moon says your commitment is being tested and you're very close to achieving your goal. Yeah, maybe the Neptune energy that's been around and that is Neptune is also working with the sun this week. It might bring some dreamy messages about who you are. Hmm. We are riding the wave of change. Yeah, the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups jumped out. This is maybe about a lesson of identity. You're acknowledging and or releasing a truth that was true in the past something that used to be true and now it's like is this still true maybe this is for somebody who feels confident in their in their change in their shifting identity and the universe is asking how committed are you to changing so the moon this week says, ride that wave of change without being impulsive. That's why it says, don't get, let pride get in your way. Don't be impulsive. Just work on balancing the energy this week. Okay. Ten of Wands, Four of Swords, the High Priestess. Five of Wands, the Tower. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. King of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Okay, double three. Ending with a couple threes here. We also have the Ten of Wands and the Five of Wands. So it's like... <clears throat> there might have been an, um, an outburst of some kind or something just became too much. Something definitely became too much. Either you are taking on too much or people's opinions about, you know, about anything. I don't, I don't actually know what it could be about. But it, I see that it's caused some sort of need for rest, need for a timeout. Actually, that was last week's video, wasn't it? Right? About breaking free. 
whether it was of your own accord or something somebody else pointed out to you, something is changing. And there's the Three of Pentacles again, the card of the month, saying it's time to rebuild. It's it came right after the tower. <clears throat> you can see that. It's like the scene of a tower falling apart, and then it's a scene of three people here working together on the plans of a, um, I think it's a plans of a temple, but still construction. The three of, of pentacles in this case, if we're taking that message along with what the new moon in Libra, the next, you know, lunation, what that invitation brings is showing up as who you really are, showing up truly, authentically. Knowing that you are enough, knowing that you have part of the puzzle piece, if it were, you know, with, with some other group of people. So there might be some shifting social circles, I see. Um, I think that there was a lot of energy in this situation of the past, and it was almost too much, whether it was coming from you or from another person, or it just wasn't directed it, it was undirected energy. And I feel like the lesson of this week is, is the universe trying to say like, no, we took that off your plate so that you could see this other thing that's changing, this thing that is inevitably shifting. How well are you listening to your intuition? Because um, what I see here is still that there is Maybe some lingering um, regret, um, maybe about how things had turned out or how things are progressing along. And it's, I'm actually seeing like a cut of, of confidence. It's like you were overconfident before and now there's maybe not enough confidence just in your own intuition. But see, here the confidence, the energy was, was given externally. And then on, on this side, it's um, reflecting more inwardly so maybe this is just calling us to have a little bit more faith in ourselves more faith in our own personal wisdom i'm going to get a couple more cards the ace of wands yeah either your enthusiasm for something has begun to war off and now you don't know where to place your um, identity or importance. I feel like it's really, the lesson here is about self-worth and not putting that in the, um, in the purview of others. Like other people don't define our self-worth. This is about re rejuvenating your own sense of inspiration for what it is that you're doing, what you want to accomplish. And so I pulled some cards on the High Priestess. And you got the Eight of Wands and the Page of Cups. Um, I would just say maybe pay extra close attention to your intuitions. Be aware that there might be messages trying to come in in some unexpected way. Have you begun to understand why this change is occurring and how it's... Um, potentially changing how you self-identify and I feel like this intuitive hit will come from an unexpected source I mean that could even be yourself if you're if you don't normally if you're not in practice with listening in tuning into your intuition that could be unexpected for some people this is regaining, but regaining trust in yourself, in your own personal wisdom and letting your higher self guide you into what's next, guide you through the change. The moon is 
in a harmonious aspect with Venus and a disharmonious aspect with Mars. Venus and Mars representing the divine feminine and then the masculine. I feel like it's a message I'll derive from that is that it is a time to be open and to receive and not necessarily be impulsive in our actions. So again, just another message that is wanting us to be open. There's a receiving of messages. There's a receiving of love, receiving of self-love. And not giving so much credit to the masculine energy of action. Because there might be some sort of thoughtless energy still running around that isn't fully guided, doesn't really know what to do with itself. Maybe you don't know what to do with it or other people, you know. It just maybe is a little bit wild. One more thing. Three of hearts. What's the message about the three of hearts? Three of hearts, please. Okay, well, the three of... Sorry, three of hearts. The three of swords was clarified by the ten of swords. The three of swords is still here as either as some form of regret, but it's I think it's just the lingering healing from a past situation that was harmful. So the great soap opera saga of the weekly tarot continues we could see how the energy is like morphs and shifts healing is always a constant process but really with healing there comes unlearning it's about and this is maybe the message of the moon in taurus at the top of the week is to give yourself time to process things that are happening so that they don't become lasting impressions of when um, you were um, harmed by a person or a situation so you don't bring that energy into the next situation. This is about being open to receive the full and complete lesson so that it can be integrated before the next lunation, right? If you want that new moon in Libra manifestation to work, we have to forgive. And the three of swords is also about forgiveness forgiving self and forgiving others. I think I'll leave it at that. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you on the next video.